as what happens to the composition question is what happens what happens to the compositions composition means composition of the more volatile component composition of vapor and liquid phases what happens to the composition of vapor and liquid phases as a vapor mixture as a vapor mixture of a and d is condensed as a vapor mixture of a and b is condensed so what's your answer now and please give your answer by interpreting this diagram what is happening see when i was heating the mixture when i was heating the mixture the composition uh, of more volatile component in the vapor phase as well as the liquid phase it was decreasing the movement what was towards the left and towards the left the composition decreases now i am cooling the vapor mixture what is happening the composition of more volatile component is increasing in both liquid and vapor phase fine so what is the answer first point i'm just writing each and every point corresponding to this answer right as condensation continues or as cooling continues i'm decreasing uh, decreasing the temperature right as cooling continues both vapor and liquid composition both vapor and liquid composition changes with time that's true right it is also one steady state process changes with time even amount changes but amount ke bare mein zyada sochne ki zarurat nahi hai you know that as more and more condensation is taking place the liquid amount is increasing and the vapor amount is decreasing there is nothing to uh, think a lot here about when we are talking about the amount second point yeah what is the second point when i was heating the mole fraction of more volatile component decreases in both vapor and liquid phases now when i am cooling when cooling continues when cooling continues the mole fraction the mole fraction what happens mole fraction of more volatile component the mole fraction of more volatile component increases it is very obvious from that diagram increases in both the phases in both vapor and liquid phases what else can be referred from this say the first drop of liquid which is formed is leanest in a right and what happens at the uh, bubble point here slowly as you are further cooling it down you are going to reach the bubble point what happens at the bubble point almost the entire vapor has been now condensed right and the corresponding vapor which is left that is very small amount of vapor is left just like the bubble point uh, very small amount of vapor is formed here right now this is having the highest possible composition of a right so thus or just opposite things are happening only the path the way has been reversed earlier i was heating now i am cooling right so both the vapor and liquid phases composition increases in this case right uh see at the bubble point the liquid composition is same as that of feed and the vapor is richest in a which was happening here similarly the same thing is happening here when i was reaching the bubble point by cooling down the mixture the vapor form is having highest possible composition of a and uh, at the dew point the liquid form was having lowest possible composition of a fine so this is this i have explained that both cooling and heating can be represented on the same txy diagram now let me explain you one very important thing when you are heating the mixture when you are heating the liquid which one of a and b has more tendency to vaporize of course a but when you are cooling the vapor which one has more tendency to condense b right because b is less volatile what i told you more volatile means happy in vapor phase less volatile means happy in liquid phase now let's say you are giving opportunity to a and b to get vaporized which one will be vaporizing more that is a now when you are condensing the vapor you are giving opportunity to a and b to condense which one will be having more tendency to condense b means boiling is governed by more volatile component condensation is governed by less volatile component why i am saying this while boiling a is the leader 
while condensation B is the leader. So if you see the analogy boiling ke time mein, when we are boiling the mixture whatever have happens with A during condensation the same thing happens with B. Are you getting my point? I have already discussed it here but I am writing the same thing in a different way. I am stating the same thing in a different way. Whatever happens with A during heating the same thing happens with B during condensation. Are you getting the things? Because condensation is governed by less volatile, boiling is governed by more volatile. Okay, kya hota hai? What was happening with A uh, during uh, vaporization? When I was vaporizing, as the temperature was increasing, what was happening? You can see here, what is happening? As the temperature is increasing, 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 the temperature is continuously increasing, right? You can see here, just see here in this picture now i have reached the bubble point what is happening at the bubble point this is the tie line right now further heating further heating you can see that the mole fraction of a is continuously decreasing it is continuously decreasing fine and when i have reached the dew point and beyond the dew point now there is no two phases fine similarly same thing happens during condensation what happens during condensation आप बोलोगे कि सर आपने तो अभी अभी बताया कि कंडेंसेशन में मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ ए इंक्रीज करता है डेफिनेटली इंक्रीज कर रहा है कर रहा है दिख रहा है बट व्हाट कैन यू से अबाउट मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ बी ड्यूरिंग कंडेंसेशन द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ बी डिक्रीजेस बोथ इन वेपर एंड लिक्विड फेजेस दैट्स व्हाट आई वाज सेइंग व्हाटएवर हैपेंस विद ए ड्यूरिंग बॉइलिंग ड्यूरिंग द हीटिंग द सेम थिंग हैपेंस विद बी ड्यूरिंग कंडेंसेशन सो इफ आई आस्क यू वन मोर क्वेश्चन आई कैन फ्रेम वन मोर क्वेश्चन हियर आई टोल्ड यू दैट आई कैन फ्रेम फ्रेम अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द टीएक्स वाई डायग्राम whatever happens with a the same thing happens with b because b is the leader during condensation and a is the leader during boiling during heating so during heating the mole fraction of a decreases in both vapor and liquid phase during condensation the mole fraction of b decreases in both vapor and liquid phase this is the mole fraction of a right because this axis is the mole fraction of a but if you talk about if mole fraction of a is increasing it means mole fraction of b is decreasing so you can also see the same thing in a different way like uh, with respect to the mole fraction of b fine Okay, so try to note it down. I hope you have noted it down, everything, right? And try to understand it carefully. Fine. So I also told you that I can see condensation on the same diagram. I can represent condensation on the same diagram. Now, next point. There are a lot of conclusions to write. Okay, what else we can uh, interpret from this TXY diagram? See, at a given temperature and pressure, there can exist only one tie line, right? Now, what about if, what is the effect of, I'm writing in the form of questions so that it will be easier for you to revise and remember. What is the effect of changing pressure? What is the effect of changing pressure on the TXY diagram? What is the effect of changing pressure on the TXY diagram? Now you may ask, sir, that TXY diagram is plotted on constant pressure. How you are changing the uh, pressure in case of TXY diagram? Definitely, during plotting a PX, uh, TXY diagram, pressure has to be constant, right? But I can change the values of pressure. I can take different different values of constant pressure. Like initially, I can plot the TXY diagram at 1 atm constant pressure. Then I can plot the TXY diagram at 2 atm constant pressure. Then I can plot the TXY diagram at 10 atm constant pressure. What is the effect? What do you think? How you are going to explain the effect of pressure on the TXY diagram? Let me show you. Let me write few points here. First point. Uh, do you know that as the pressure increases, all the boiling points, the boiling point of any liquid is going to increase. Are you getting this point? Because what is the definition of boiling point? See, again, I'm trying to explain boiling point here. See, this is the uh, atmospheric pressure, 1 atm. And this is your vapor pressure, fine. The temperature at which vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure is called boiling point, right? You know that with increasing temperature, the vapor pressure increases. The temperature at which vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure is called boiling point, fine. Now, if you are increasing the atmospheric pressure, 
you will have to increase more temperature so that the vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure. Getting my point? With the temperature, vapor pressure always increases. If surrounding pressure is this, aapko itna temperature lana padega so that vapor pressure becomes equal to surrounding pressure and then I have the boiling point. But if I increase the surrounding pressure, aapko aur heat karke aur temperature badana padega so that vapor pressure becomes equal to surrounding pressure, now boiling point has increased. So what happens? What is the effect of pressure now? What do you think? The first thing, with increase in pressure, with increase in pressure, all the boiling points and all the temperature increases. All the boiling points and all the temperature increases. Got it? All the temperature increases. So what does it mean? How this effect will be shown? How this effect will be shown in the TXY diagram? All the temperatures will increase. It means, it means the TXY curve. It means the TXY curves will shift upwards. Will shift upwards to so, ek effect to ye hua ki p x pressure badhane par t x y diagram thoda thoda upar upar shift ho jayega it is very obvious na? because if you increase pressure even t a not and t b not are going to increase all the boiling points all the bubble points are going to increase because at higher pressure the boiling points always increases fine okay so that effect is with increase in pressure the t x y diagram is going to shift upwards Okay, what else? I will make the diagram. Once we discuss all the effects, I will make the diagram at a time. What else? Do you remember? Uh, okay, I know that according to Delton's law, because I told you that right now I'm dealing with ideal solutions and I'm assuming everything is ideal. Don't talk about non-ideality right now. Maybe in the next lecture, we'll be talking about non-ideality. So Delton's law says that Ya multiplied by Total pressure is the partial pressure of A. So I can write Ya is equal to partial pressure of A divided by total pressure. Rolls law says for the liquid solution, the Rolls law says that partial pressure of A in the vapor phase is equal to the vapor pressure of A which can also be written as Pa set multiplied by Xa. Fine, PSI at multiplied by XA, right? So, according to this, I can write this equation as YA is equal to PSI at XA, PSI at XA divided by total pressure. Can I write like this? This is, in fact, one of the ways of writing the equilibrium relation. Please note. This is one of the ways of writing the equilibrium relation. So, what I want to say here finally, I will talk about that. But before that, write here that one of the ways to write the equilibrium relation. To write the equilibrium relation. Mark it. Important, right? Equilibrium relation. Fine. Now, what do you think? <coughs> This Ya and Xa, they are in equilibrium. Ya and Xa related by this relation are in equilibrium. Now, if you increase the pressure, then for a given Xa, Ya decreases. Or for a given Ya, Xa decreases. Xa has to decrease. Fine. Uh, okay. With increase in pressure, let me write here. With increase in pressure for a given Xa, see if pressure increases, Xa remains fixed, Ya decreases. For a given Xa, Ya decreases. Fine. Now, how this can be shown? What is the effect of this on the TXY diagram? How you are going to represent this change on the TXY diagram? How? It is represented by shrinking of the TXY curve, the gap between the bubble point, because what is the gap between the bubble point and dew point? See, if Y and X gap is more, Y and X distance is more, the gap between the bubble point curve and the dew point curve is more. But if Y, X gap decreases, 
then the gap between bubble point and deep point curve also decreases. So how it is represented on the TXY diagram? On the TXY diagram, on the TXY diagram, it is represented, it is represented by shrinking of the VLE curves, shrinking of the VLE curves. Right? So, now let me draw it graphically also. What is going to happen? I am going to show the same effect, both the effects in the same diagram, right? Same axis. Initially, let's say this was the VLE curve. So, I am making this curve like this so that I can show the effects clearly. This was TB0 and this was TA0 at a pressure of 1 atm. Now, let's say that I am increasing the pressure. All the boiling points are going to increase due to which the graph will be shifted upwards. So upwards graph will be shifted like this and uh, uh, simultaneously it should also shrink. Fine, shrink. So at higher pressure, this